Some of the most incredible space photographs we've ever seen have been supplied by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope since July. This cutting-edge telescope has created a breathtaking collection of bright, nebular images, potential evidence for ancient galaxies, and even novel viewpoints of planets in our own solar system in only a few short months. However, on the 12th of October 2022, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope once more caused some confusion when it discovered fingerprints. This breathtaking view from the center of the universe almost seems to have been smudged by a thumb. The effect, however, is actually the product of a rare form of a star, and its companion engaged in a cosmic dance, not a human fingerprint. NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope discovered the interesting sight of at least 17 dust rings. Yes, you heard it right, and in this video, we're going to tell you all about the controversy in detail. So make sure to watch the video till the very end to find out about this interesting discovery. The Webb Telescope is the biggest, most potent telescope ever put into orbit. The first Webb photos, which revealed startling new information about the universe, were made public in July 2022 following several months of commissioning and testing. The newest observations from the James Webb Satellite Telescope have produced a fascinating image of 17 concentric dust rings that resemble a cosmic fingerprint. More than 5,000 light years away from Earth, two massive stars known as the wolf rayet 140 binary collided to form the formation. Every eight years, when the stars move further apart in their elongated orbit, the rings are formed. The solar winds from the stars meet as they get closer to one another, compressing the gas pouring from these stars into dust. Every eight years, WR140 produces a smoke ring with intricate carvings that, like a balloon, as the binary returns to its orbit, another ring appears, exactly like the one before, streaming out into space within the bubble of the preceding one, like a series of gigantic nested Russian dolls. The 17 ring structure, which spans a region of space larger than our solar system, was created over around 130 years. The research team also points out that one of the stars in the celestial system is rare. It is known as the Wolf Rayet Star. This is why the team is fittingly called Wolf Rayet 140. The second star is an O type star, a super hot object that is similarly challenging to find. In contrast to normal stars, Wolf Rayet stars shed an enormous amount of mass over time which means they also frequently expel heavy components with deep internal structure. A wolf rayet is a star that is towards the conclusion of its stellar lifespan, and is born with at least 25 times the mass of our Sun. A wolf rayet star produces enormous winds that propel vast quantities of gas into space as it burns hotter than when it was young. It is estimated that the star in this pair lost at least half of its original mass as a result. Additionally, as they approach the conclusion of their lives, black holes, which are among the most extreme things known in our universe, tend to form. At the boundary where the winds from both stars meet, carbon and other heavy elements are squeezed as they are pushed into space. According to scientists, the wind from the other star sweeps the gas into lanes, and you have enough of the material, enough to each other that it condenses into dust. Not only is this an amazing photograph, but this unusual occurrence provides fresh information about cosmic dust and how it may endure the severe conditions of space. The most recent findings may offer fresh perspectives on how the first generation of stars in the early cosmos seeded their environs with dust and gas to produce later star generations. It provided us with an image of 17 concentric dust rings, as described in a report that was published in the journal Nature Astronomy. But one thing hasn't altered. These halos, like the rest of the scope's exquisite space discoveries, are both breathtaking and significant to the study of astronomy. The organization thinks that the two stars, slightly over 5,000 years from Earth, came close enough to sometimes kiss each other's stellar winds to create these heavy rings. In essence, a dusty ring is formed whenever the stars sparked streams of gas entangle. It's almost as if they left a fingerprint in space. The ability to quantify time passing is what makes these celestial memories so fascinating. In brief, each of those 17 rings represent precisely one heavenly encounter similar to how each ring a tree form represents a year of the plant's existence. The nested loops of these stellar bodies even mimic the interior of a tree trunk, serving as a sobering reminder that everything we observe, from the largest stars and the furthest planets to the smallest insects and greenest leaves, is a component of the same coherent universe. 
According to the main author of the new study, Ryan Lau, an astronomer at the NOR lab of the National Space Foundation, we are looking at almost a century of dust production from this system. The image also demonstrates the telescope sensitivity. We could only observe two dust rings before with the ground-based telescopes we had, says Lau. We can see at least 17 of them right now. Scientists estimate that the star's unique meeting happens once every eight years, based on data from the James Webb Space Telescope. The Mid-Infrared Instrument MIRI, of the James Webb Space Telescope is responsible for the discovery. The MIRI telescope concentrates the light coming from space-borne objects that can be discovered in the mid-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, as opposed to the scope's near-infrared sensors, which are essentially the big dog tool on this machine. The majority of our stunning photographs of the cosmos come from the James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared instruments, but NASA uses MIRI to examine the outer space dust rings. According to the agency, this portion of the James Webb Space Telescope is just more equipped to detect interesting objects like the wispy hoops and even be successful in exposing their composition. NASA claims that stars typically only expel the extremely light element hydrogen. However, it is the heavy elements that wolf rayets emit that cool in the stellar wind, compressing when they're coming in contact with another star's breeze and possibly creating the ideal conditions for the formation of new stars. Some scientists think that the sun once emerged from compressed wolf rayet material. Such compression appears to create the concentric circles that are left behind in the case of WR140. The organization speculates that this may be due to the system's elongated orbit. There should be at least a few thousand of these so-called wolf rayet stars in the entire galaxy, but so far, only about 600 have been discovered. Even though wolf rayet stars are uncommon in our galaxy because they are very young stars, Patrick Morris, a Caltech astrophysicist and co-author of the new study, speculated that these stars may have been producing a lot of dust before they exploded and or become black holes. The wind's heavy components are compressed when the winds from both stars meet after cooling as they travel across space. While some other wolf rayet systems are known to produce dust, none are known to produce rings as wolf rayet 140 does, according to researchers. Because the orbit of the wolf rayet star in WR140 is elongated rather than circular, a special ring pattern develops. The gas is not under enough pressure to generate dust until the stars are close enough to collide, about the same distance between Earth and the Sun. The new research offers the strongest proof to date that carbon-rich dust molecules are produced by wolf rayet stars using data from MIRI's medium-resolution spectrometer. The fact that the dust shells have survived suggests that the dust can endure in the harsh environments between stars and go on to serve as a source of material for future stars and planets. I believe we will learn a lot more about how these stars affect the material between stars and simulate new star formation in galaxies with NASA's upcoming space telescope. What are your views on this discovery of the James Webb Space Telescope? If you're interested in knowing more about the telescope, have a look at our video about it shown here. And if you have any topics that you would like us to cover, let us know in the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, we'd really appreciate if you liked the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon. And we'll see you in a new video. Take care.